Hello, wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers all over the world. Nigerians, Africans as a whole, remember, I've always um, emphasized on the two great institutions that are responsible for the backwardness in governance. We respect to Africa, particularly Nigeria, because Nigeria be the headquarter of corruption, impunity, and bad governance. Now, these two institutions, I've always said that they are behind the misery of black nations, African nations, particularly Nigeria. And I must say, this video I'm about to bring to you is a reversal to that narrative. What am I talking about? Benue State, Governor Utom, Onya Neku Makia Mwere Fone, and the person where would they talk about? Get what they do. For some time, consistently now, Governor Utom seems to be the only one that is determined to stop this jihad, that is determined to fight this war to the end, that is determined to stand with his people that has vowed not to be political about the defense of his people. And I've adopted him as my, my governor. Please permit me, forgive me. Those of you who are saying that this guy normally shouts, please make sure forgive me. Eh? Because if you feel the heat of this country, you will scream, honestly. So, I've adopted him as my governor. And this video actually you know, opened my mind to where he drew some of his strength. That is from this pastor, Pastor Prophet El Buba. He said it the way it is, without fear. I am going to watch. You proscribe IPOP. We think IPOP did not kill anybody until that time. IPOP shot no gun. And IPOP was proscribed as a terrorist group. Now these people are taking sophisticated weapons. They are all over the country. Until this moment, the Fulani full full killer headsmen have not been proscribed as a terrorist group. And they are the worst terrorist group on earth. So it means that uh, if, you, if you are silent over evil, you are part of the evil. For everyone who is a Ben woman or woman, women, for this reason, as the governor of Benway State, I have upgraded women to be men in Benway State. Yeah. So every uh, woman in, in Benway State, take the weapon that you can confront our enemies, yeah. wherever they are. Bring your AK-47. We'll bring our own locally lawful arrows yeah. and spears and cutlasses and this thing and deal with the situation. Yeah, okay. When I hear them, this is not the first time I'm bringing you Pastor or Prophet El Bubas outburst. With respect to this impunity, he had been shouting, he had been speaking. Makomba one says, Warning Nigerians. But would they listen? No. Just like we have been shouting here for God knows how long. Since 2012, this has been the message of this platform. Since we opened up this YouTube channel in 2015, 2016, we have been saying the same thing. Consistently. Like and then I say, now you are waking up. Now you need to wake up to understand the depth of our message. Because we are not here to be emotionally uh, 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 mesmerizing you. Feeding you with the emotional states you want to, to hear the way you want to, to hear it. We are here to say the truth without fear. But we are here to also empower our people with the right knowledge on what to do. Governor Tom. El Buba, well done. You spoke my mind. Go and uh, arm yourself with whatever thing you can to protect yourself. That was the word of Governor Autumn. And I stand with him on that. Forget about the one where he say, eh, Aru, eh, Boo, eh, this, eh, that. Let me tell you. All those ones uh, for you know, I believe in the kind of work the media. I believe in the kind of the media. You understand now? Mm -hmm. 
So, Governor Houghton, I give you kudos once again. You've always been my governor. Now, let the governors of the South, particularly Southeast and the South-South, and by extension, Southwest, make could have do the needful. I don't know why the governors of Nigeria have left this fight alone for Governor Otton to fight. You see, the Fulanese have called you their slaves. They have asked you, governors, why did you have that meeting without their consent? Now it is becoming clear. When we say that you are cowards, when we say that these people, that these governors are the stooges of the Fulani Caliphate, some people think that we are just saying loud amount or talking because we don't like the governors. No. You have seen the Fulani coming out. There must be a reason why that man had the audacity to say, why did he do? obtain permission everything they have been doing in the southeast the python dance they name it they took permission somewhere well i believe we are on a new page and things will change the narrative will change we hope that these governors will sit up and do the needful stand with your people now before it is too late governors of the southeast stand with your people now before it is too late governors of the south south governors of the southwest do likewise before it is too late because this rain that is gathering it must rain and it will rain cat and dog signing out i've spoken share it drop your comment let me have your opinion god bless you all stay safe but don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Follow us on all our social media platforms. And stay safe. Stay connected to this voice. Bye-bye.